You know, most magicians go in for the formal look, you know, the dark tuxedos, the serious music, the dramatic theatrical effects. Well, our next performer is almost like that, except he wears a white tuxedo, and he twists his illusions around for some rather strange results that will not only mystify you, you'll have a couple of laughs along the way. Ladies and gentlemen, the master of magical madness, Larry Wilson. <laughs> Mike Tyson's theme song, She Made Me Mad. But you know, I only agreed to be here tonight because Dick asked me to do something very dangerous. A and I told him I would, but only if we have a registered nurse in attendance. Did we get the registered nurse, Dick? Did we, did we get, oh, fabulous, you're here, how grand. I'm so pleased you, you brought your doctor's bag, you have everything we need. <laughs> there, there are a number of very unusual implements inside, just exactly what sort of doctor do you work for? A sex therapist. Oh? Well, we specialize in treating TV evangelists. <laughs> oh, behave yourselves, you animals. I suppose that explains this protective device. It's a, it's a restraint that's placed around the, uh, no, no, actually this goes on. You know, this looks like your size. Why don't we just try this on for fit? And perhaps as an added safety precaution, We'll apply this in a judicious manner and fasten it securely like so. There, now tell me, how do you feel? Safe? Very. So you see? Well, it looks like we're all set for a little surgical procedure. All we need now is the doctor, hmm? Ladies and gentlemen, what we're attempting here is an incredibly dangerous experiment in bloodless surgery, requiring the absolute utmost in delicacy, not to mention razor sharp precision and the skill and cunning of the professionals. <laughs> what, do you think I don't know what I'm doing? I sent your trepidation. Trust me, this will not be grisly. But before we go any further, let me find some place for my little nurse here where she'll be out of harm's way. Where can we put you, my darling? We won't be... Oh, I've got an idea. We could put you back here if we absolutely... Oh, I've got an even better idea. How about, for your own protection, we put you in this tacky-looking magic box, hmm? I think you'll be very safe in there. Why don't you take this gentleman's hand? He'll help you up in there. Look at that face. Can you help but trust that face, huh? Now, if you'd be so kind as to introduce one of the chain through the hole in the cabinet there to Lamborghini, he'll apply this surgical device to it and fasten it securely. And having accomplished that, I implore you to do likewise on the other side, where Linguini will do the same. <laughs> Folks, I should warn you, the show takes twice as long if you repeat everything I say. Now, tell me, my little Florence Nightingale, how do you feel? Comfortable? Very. Good. Because what we're about to attempt here is anything but comforting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all divisions, surely each of you must be familiar with the illusion of sawing a woman in half. Rest assured, we're not about to subject you to any such exhibition of that kind this evening. No, no. Nothing so mundane, so pedestrian, so boring. No. This evening, we're going to present something three times as exciting as that, three times as dangerous as that, three times the death-defying mystery. Cutting a woman in six. <laughs> My assistants are bringing in from offstage five specially constructed solid stainless steel blades. These blades have been honed to a razor edge and specially constructed for me by Schick. Center for Weight Control. <laughs> but before we begin, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, watch now as I introduce. 30 inches of solid stainless steel into my lovely box. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the very first blade. <laughs> Oftentimes it requires more strength. Bear with me, my dear. The second blade. Give me that, you coward. The second blade. The third blade. The fourth blade.
Any of you people ever have that problem at home? <laughs> and for those of you who are fans of Sesame Street, it should come as no surprise, this is The Fifth Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me speak with you for a moment in utmost candor. What we've done here is not really that difficult a thing to do. No, no, hold your cries of declamation. I know what you're thinking. But Larry, this is incredible. It's stupendous. Let me give you this blank check. But no. No, because what we've done here is not difficult, so feat to accomplish as it may appear. Watch as I remove the blades one by one. The fifth blade. The fourth blade. The third blade. The second blade. Now, oftentimes people come to me and they say, Larry, isn't this a dangerous illusion? And I admit there's an element of danger, but only if you're not careful to keep your thumb from between the blades when you do this. Watch as I remove the last blade. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure now to introduce to you in one piece the lovely in town of Miss Pastor Fuzla 1988, Julie McCullough. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Wilson. Thank you. <laughs> Larry Wilson, coming up. First time on primetime television, Tony Orlando and Dawn. First reunion, don't go away.